All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you poop, with another unboxing, this time of the Zoom H2n, or the Zoom H2 Next. So, we'll take a look at the box as we always do, and uh, just show you around, do the unboxing and all that fun stuff. So, see you in the next bit. Okay, so this is the Zoom H2n, as I said. I'm getting this to uh, as a replacement for my Zoom H1. It served me well, but I'm ready to move on up and uh, upgrade it to this bad boy right here. So um, we'll just go over the box like I usually do, and then we'll open this bad boy. So, like I said, H2 next. Brilliant stereo recording everywhere you go. 28th Annual Technical Excellence and Creativity, or Creativity Awards winner. That, that's the outside of the box looks like it on the front. On the top, we have uh, free bundled software, Wave Labs LE8, and it also has Cubase LE7. Uh, two gigabyte SD memory cards also included. That's pretty nice of them. Then on the right side, you have just another look at the uh, H2N. Then on the left side, it's just a uh, different application that's used for. You got music, field recording, journalism, things like that. Uh, the bottom's just got uh, uh, stuff. <laughs> so, uh, but the, the back is where uh, where the money is. This is the fucking hashtag money right here. So, H2 next, zoom. Uh, brilliant stereo recording everywhere you go. Uh, one of the cool things is it has mid-side recording, which allows you to record ambient noise and to control the amount of ambient noise that you record. So it's not just either the focused and then just like omnidirectional so it has something called mid-side uh, recording which provides a, I was to say con a continuous variable stereo with the control which is basically a fancy way of what I just described so you can narrow it down to a 30 degree angle or up to 150 degrees then you have your standard zoom uh, XY pattern of 90 degree coverage which is pretty nice and then just goes over different things here it has a uh, Five studio quality microphones on board that record in mid-side, as is mentioned. Uh, 90 degree XY stereo or surround sound. So one of the other cool things is that you can uh, have a uh, two-channel surround sound or four-channel surround sound. And you can edit the... Uh, they're, they're saved as uh, different tracks as well. So you can edit each individual track, which is pretty cool. Um, records in wave up to 24 bit 96 kilohertz and MP MP3 up to 320 kilobits per second. Data recovery function protects against recording errors. That's nice. Over 20 hours of continuous battery life. Super nice. <laughs> so yeah, uh, built-in reference speaker. Yeah. USB 2.0 audio interface for DAW recording. Accommodates up to 32 gigabyte SDHC memory card. It's a whole lot of audio. And the package includes the recorder itself, the 2 gigabyte SD card, two AA batteries, and a, a copy of Steinberg Wave Lab LE editing software. The optional accessory pack has all the uh, bells and whistles like remote control, windscreen, adjustable tripod stand, mic clip adapter, padded shell case, AC adapter, USB cable, and so on and so forth. So, whew, that was a mouthful. Sorry I'm a little sweaty there. Anywho, now that we've gone over uh, all the stuff that's in the box, let's open this bad boy. And uh, I got my handy dandy scissors just in case, but uh, just from the looks of it, I don't think we'll need to open uh, that with the scissors. So, I'm gonna pop the top. Oh, and if, if you guys are wondering, I'm using the audio from my uh, trusty Zoom H1 for this demo, but uh, I am gonna be making a demo video of the Zoom H2n as well, so you guys can hear the difference. So it'll be uh, like a demo of this and maybe a comparison demo with the H1 and uh, so on and so forth. So, anywho, getting back to the unboxing here, because that's the point of this video. Get this, get to later. Get, um, so, box pretty much empty. Put that off to the side there. <laughs> as neatly as you can. Um, let's see, opening this up, just looks to be uh, the manuals and free copy of Cubase and whatnot, so, uh, let's see, this is down here, alright, uh, it just goes through uh, the different uh, differences between the different versions of the firmware, I believe, 
yeah, system software, firmware, whatever you want to call it. And then this guy's yellow piece of paper is uh, just different precautions of using an SD card and so cool stuff. Then next up is uh, distribution of uh, old electronic equipment and things like that in different languages. Usually it's with these things. Um, next is uh, download information. I'll, I'll cover my access key, but yeah, it's got that. And then the access key, which allows you to download a Cubase LE. Pretty cool. So it doesn't come with an actual physical CD. You have to go online and download it. They just give you the, uh, the key in order to do so. So that's cool. Then, let's see. This side's got the English side. The other side's Japanese, so that's, that's cool. So this is the uh, startup guide for Cubase LE. Just kind of goes through the different procedures for that. Um, again, here is the uh, same thing for WaveLab. Covered up the key. Then next we have uh, what is this? Like some kind of feed? Yeah, it looks like a feedback report or something like that. If you want this to send it back for some reason. Then here is the uh, the handy dandy manual, which is mostly in Japanese. I think it's yeah, it's for the most part in Japanese, but you can kind of get the gist of, uh, of what they're saying here. So if you just kind of look at the uh, the things, <laughs> that's cool. So I'll put that off to the side. Now. Oops. <laughs> We'll open up this bad boy, which is the recorder. So, open it up from the top here. All right. Inside this bad boy, you have a little, oh, okay, so it's like this. It's a little uh, micro SD card, two gigabytes, into a, uh, a regular SD card adapter. Put that off to the side. You got your uh, two AA batteries right here. Put those off to the side. And now, <laughs> The moment you've been waiting for. The piece de resistance. The recorder. <sighs> Magic. <laughs> so, this is pretty freaking rad. And it's one thing to uh, to look at pictures and stuff of it, but it's another thing to actually hold it in your hand and you know do stuff with it as well. So. Take off the little sticky thing on here. Then uh, we'll just look at the uh, the different things in here, and then I'll actually cover uh, different functions and do like a demo video later. This is just the unboxing. So, just looking at the front here, you have the uh, Zoom H2N. I guess uh, this is a little uh, reference speaker up here. There's the uh, the mic, one of them. Then on the right hand side, you have your line input. So if you want to use an, an, a different mic. You can plug that in there. You can toggle the speaker volume right here. You can use a little uh, remote for the uh, from the uh, what's it called? The accessory kit. <laughs> There's a line out for your headphones, so you can see how uh, hot the mic is running or how hot it's not. USB ports. And then moving on to the back, you have the uh, LED screen or LCD screen, I should say. Yeah, LCD. Sorry, <laughs> brain's a little blue right now. And uh, little record button right here light shows it's recording then on the uh, left hand side if you're facing this way you have a little menu button you hold it for home uh, you got just a little playback just kind of goes like that kind of like an old uh, old tape recorder it just kind of does it like that a manual adjustable gain so you don't have to click 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 you just toggle like it's a guess it's a little less annoying and it has a hold button this is really useful. Um, one of my main complaints with the Zoom H1 doesn't have a hold button, so you can't lock all your settings in. So, but this one does. So you can just set it, forget it, and then nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna affect anything. So, then you just hold it down to uh, turn it off. So, then from the bottom here, you have a little thing for a lanyard, and then you have your uh, little insert for a tripod. Insert the memory card in here, and. Uh, Looking from the top, which is the last little part here, you can uh, toggle between your different uh, channel settings here. You got your uh, mid uh, mid side frequency. You have your four channel, your two channel, and your standard X Y pattern as well. So cool stuff, cool stuff indeed. So yeah, this is the Andy song. 
excited for now. Thanking you guys, Poop, for tuning in to my little unboxing of the Zoom H2N and for watching my other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.